हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अक्यूरेट स्टिफ फर्म वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायासिंग वाइल एनालाइजिंग वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायासिंग इफ वी कंसीडर द कंडीशन आर वन पैरेलल विथ आर टू should be less than 0.01 r in so this is the condition for accurate voltage divider biasing here r in is the load resistance of voltage divider so the condition for accurate voltage divider biasing is that while calculating the thevenin's equivalent resistance we need to consider r1 parallel with r2 should be less than 0.01 r in so this is the condition for accurate voltage divider biasing here r in is the load resistance of voltage divider so we can say a well designed voltage divider bias circuit will satisfy this condition so we can say a well designed voltage divider bias circuit will satisfy this condition so that we can get the accurate value hence it is known as accurate voltage divider biasing now let us understand stiff voltage divider in the first equation we have considered r1 parallel with r2 that should be less than 0.01 r in for calculating r in we can use the formula r in will be equal to beta times r e if we substitute this formula in first equation we will get r1 parallel with r2 should be less than 0.01 beta r e so this is the condition for stiff voltage divider the stiff voltage divider will produce stable q point so stiff voltage divider will produce a stable q point sometimes stiff voltage divider design will produce small value of r1 and r2 that can cause some problem hence we'll go with the firm voltage divider in firm voltage divider we'll use the condition R one parallel with R two should be less than zero point one beta times R e. So this is the condition for firm voltage divider. So R one parallel with R two should be less than zero point one beta times R e. So this is the condition for firm voltage divider. To get more accurate value of I e. which is emitter current we can use the formula i e is equal to v b minus v b e divided by r e plus r1 parallel with r2 divided by beta so this is the formula that can be used to calculate the accurate value of emitter current so you need to remember here this formula can be used only for firm voltage divider and should not be used for stiff voltage divider so the formula for ie to calculate the accurate value can be used only for firm voltage divider and should not be used for stiff voltage divider now let us consider a problem where a voltage divider bias circuit is given and we need to find whether this voltage divider bias is a stiff voltage divider or not and then we need to calculate more accurate value of the emitter current we know the condition for a stiff voltage divider which is r1 parallel with r2 should be less than 0.01 beta times re so this is the condition for stiff voltage divider 
let us take this as equation number 1 now let us calculate r1 parallel with r2 that can be given as r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 from the figure we can identify the value of r1 is 10 kilo ohm r2 is 2.2 kilo ohm if we substitute the values it will be 10 kilo ohm multiplied with 2.2 kilo ohm divided by 10 kilo ohm plus 2.2 kilo ohm therefore we will get r1 parallel with r2 is equal to 1.8 kilo ohm now let us find beta times re from the circuit beta is given as 200 and re is 1 kilo ohm therefore beta re will be equal to 200 kilo ohm we need to find the value 0 0.01 times beta re so it will be equal to 0 0.01 multiplied with 200 kilo ohm therefore we will get 0 0.01 beta re will be equal to 2 kilo ohm if we substitute these two values in equation number 1 we will get 1.8 kilo ohm will be less than 2 kilo ohm hence this satisfies the condition for stiff voltage divider therefore we can say the voltage divider bias which is given in the circuit is stiff now let us find the accurate value of emitter current so the formula for accurate value of emitter current is ie is equal to vb minus vbe divided by re plus r1 parallel with r2 divided by beta in this formula we need to find the value of vb VBE is 0.7 volts RE is given from the circuit it is 1 kilo ohm R1 parallel with R2 we have already calculated as 1.8 kilo ohm and beta is 200 therefore we can find the value of VB so here VB is nothing but the Thevenin's equivalent voltage VTH so that can be given as r2 divided by r1 plus r2 multiplied with vcc so we can write vb is equal to 10 kilo divided by 10 kilo plus 2.2 kilo ohm multiplied with the value of vcc from the circuit is 10 volt therefore vb is equal to 1.8 volt if we substitute VB in this formula, we will get IE is equal to 1.8 minus 0 0.7 divided by 1 kilo plus 1.8 kilo divided by 200. So the value of IE will be equal to 1.09 milliampere. So this is the accurate value of IE. Even though we have calculated accurate value for stiff voltage divider. So if we use the simplified analysis to calculate the value of IE, we will get approximately the same values. That's why we say we will not calculate accurate value of emitter current for stiff voltage divider but here in the problem they have asked that's why we have calculated the value of ie this is about accurate stiff and firm voltage divider i hope you have understood the topic thank you